Welcome back, everybody, to RimWorld. Yesterday, there was a little bit of confusion. It, it was the top comment on yesterday's episode about how the immortals work, how they regenerate limbs, that type of thing. I want to quickly kind of give a breakdown so that everybody's on the same page. Obviously, I didn't explain it very well when we first really started playing with the immortals mods. This is coming directly from the Steam Workshop page, Basic Immortals. So I assume that is not lesser immortals, but in fact, people who have, like, uh, let's see if we can find it. We got, uh, is Sharon must say? Yeah, so... Basic Immortals, I assume they specifically refer to this brand of Immortal. Can regenerate fingers and toes. Greater Immortals, like fingers is right now, can regenerate hands and eyes, which is obviously quite useful for Frostbite and things like that. And then Higher Immortals can regenerate basically everything. So, unless we get Sharamus or Fingers up to that highest level, you know, Sharamus as a highest level Immortal would be fantastic, because it means we'd be able to regenerate his, his legs and his arms and things like that without actually worrying about building bionics for it. Although the bionics obviously would be better because they're more effective than its regular stinky orc limbs. Somebody left a comment on yesterday's episode that said very simply, trade Yeo for Plasteel. And I don't know why, but ever since I've read that comment, I've wanted to trade Yeo for Plasteel because we've obviously got a bit of a Plasteel dearth. We need a shitload for it if we plan on building better weapons, if we plan on building armor for our people, if we plan on actually building the ship and launching into space, we are going to need a lot of Plasteel. So... What I'm thinking is, is first things first, I've started researching transport pod. I've kind of put a stop on the armor and the ship bits and things like that because there's no point researching all these things when we can't build any of them, right? Transport pods will allow us to drop resources on our or on people and turn them into allies. The more allies we've got, the more trade caravans we can call in from the comms console. And in theory, the more plastic we'll be able to get. Now, we've also got, of course, our, our Grand Penetrant Scanner. We could put down a long-term scanner as well, but we'll see how this goes for the time being. Bear in mind, this can now just generate new chunks. So, in theory, if we just keep doing this long enough, it will find us new chunks anyway. And bear in mind, if there's no research we want to do, we could put down a couple of these and have loads of people scanning at the same time until we find what we need, which would actually be kind of cool. Um, in fact, do we have any prisoners that are good with intellectual? Double Passion 4.6, Single Passion 7.8, uh, Single Passion 3.62... Uh, and 6.34. So actually, the, the single passion 7.88, I could have as another dedicated scanner. And we can have two of those guys. Uh, and, and kind of let them get to work on that. I think that could be quite good. Somebody also said we can build a roof area over the actual chair itself. Um, that prevents it being in the rain, but still allows the ground penetrating scanner to work, which I had no idea was the case. So I'm thinking, why don't we set up a drugs lab in the, in the tomb? I like that idea. I think it's what the, the, the dead would have wanted. If we put, grow some yayo kind of around this area... Um, actually, we can till soil, can't we, with one of the mods? Um, so if we go, like, tilled soil, put this down here. Actually, preferably not covering up the graves. That would not be ideal. Um, but if we do something like that and grow a load of yayo, then we could turn that into... Or psychite leaves or flake or, or whatever it's called. I think it's psychite leaves, isn't it? Um, turn that into... Hopefully, Yayo, and then sell that in exchange for Plasteel, we can have a nice drugs economy going on. Because it's one of the most valuable things we can produce. And we've got a lot of people obviously capable of producing it. We've got a lot of characters with intellectual, both in the prison and actually in our colony right now. That gives 140% uh, fertility. That's actually quite good, isn't it? I'm going to let them finish sowing the field first. Because I assume, I assume we need to do that before we put the growing zone. Otherwise, if we try putting the growing zone down and then let them till the soil, I imagine they'll destroy the crop. So we'll let them finish with this first, just to be safe. Um, you've got people obviously delivering, so to speak, into the tilled soil there, but they're basically just slightly speeding things up for Sharamus. It's still going to take them quite a while. Let's get rid of these chunks as well, just kind of kicking around on our base. A lot of this, unfortunately, though, is stony soil. Obviously, these are the worst areas for growing in, which is why we've left them kind of far over here. You see, we've got a lot of rough stony soil in this area, and obviously, actually just stone itself. Why are you digging at limestone and not researching? What's the deal with that then, huh? Uh, digging at limestone, that would be delivery? I mean, research is highest priority. So, Robo Daddy, there is nothing that is a higher priority besides refining drugs and harvesting. What? <laughs> it's definitely not harvesting. Um, that's a bit weird. Okay, I'm just going to make sure everything is lower than, than research for him. Then. And management, obviously. Management is keeping the... Uh, Keeping the animals high. On the subject of animals, I actually did this during yesterday's episode. I don't remember if I actually spoke about it, but I increased the amount of animals uh, variety for them to hunt. So things like hares, rats, the whole lot, just in the hopes that we can give fingers immortal quicker. Um, yeah, why are you doing that? Attempting to recruit Blakely. That's a little bit better. I don't know why he was... It's very strange. What I'm also thinking as well as a nuclear reactor with hydroponics generators. Bear in mind, we have a lot of resources for hydroponics. We've got, obviously, the shitload of steel. We've got the components. So, really, building hydroponics is no big problem. Do we have any more steel left to be hauled? Are we, are we down to kind of the designations again now? We actually might be running fairly low on steel because we've got, we're in a bit butt wild. 
with it for a while. Uh, do we even have any steel left? Am I going insane? Um, are we actually out of steel? No, no, no. We're definitely not out of steel. What category is it under? Uh, I feel like I'm going a bit mad. Oh, there we are. Right. Okay, got it. Oh, 7,000. Yeah, no, we're good. <laughs> I don't know why I was worried in hindsight. Fingers apparently has nothing to do. I disagree. You have nothing to do? Fingers, fingers, fingers. Uh, wow. Really? Ref refining them? We'll drop refining in as kind of a catch all job. That's fine. Um, yeah, that's okay. There we are. That should solve some of the problems, I think. Uh, let's just go ahead and stop playing billiards. What are we, what are you talking about? Did I not set the bills up? St smelt steel from sack. Oh, they've already done it all. Oh, wow. Um, you're right. We don't have anything for you people to do. I mean, in a second, we'll be able to grow a shitload of crops. What we could do then is, is have them grow a load of crops that we, we could just put like this down as, what do you think, like, uh, more psychoid plants and just have them grow that very quickly as a much slower area. I'm hoping we can get two harvests out of this zone. So what is that in terms of actual growing time here? Let's just put down this very quickly. Um... So Psycho takes nine days, obviously 18 days overall. It's the first of Jugas, but with the 140% fertility, I don't know how... I, th I think we can just about get two harvests from that. But anyway, we've got 30 days right now. It's 18 days normally. So it's going to be very, very close. Okay, that's interesting. We'll see, we'll see how that goes. Hopefully they can finish this pretty soon and then we'll... Um, I could obviously put them on construction as kind of a low priority, but I feel like they probably just fuck it up a lot of the time. If we just cover every block... Right, <laughs> bear with me on this one because it's a little bit mad. What if we just cover every block of our compound with with cold hard yayo? Just just pure psychoid, absolutely everywhere. We do something like uh, we do something like that, like quite literally every flat surface. That's pretty good. I like this idea. Worst case scenario, we don't get a full crop. I mean, our people have nothing to do anyway, evidently. So I'm I'm actually fine with them doing this. Oh, what, am I set to match rather than? Oh shit, I meant to expand zone. There we are. I'm all right. You know, doing it absolutely everywhere, to be honest with you. I don't really care too much. Let me go and redo all of this. I didn't realize I was on match there. My bad. Yeah. Yeah, that would do it. Okay, fine. Psycho plant. There we are. Very nice. And again, if they've got nothing to do, I'd much rather them be growing a, a something that's a, it's a very tradable good than just standing around doing basically nothing, right? Um, I guess we could expand it over here. I'm not going to expand it over to the sealed soil until we've until we've actually finished it, obviously. Into the comment as well yesterday, who reminded me that we've got Boone and Tapir up here in graves as well. Uh, let's go ahead and get those guys buried. I don't remember if either of them were traitors, though. I'd rather leave the traitors in kind of an unmarked grave. But in this situation, I, ca I, I don't remember, and I'd rather not risk it. I'd not rather not leave two of our, two of our heroes just lying up there behind... I mean, to be forgotten amid the fields of mighty, mighty cocaine... <laughs> <laughs> Only got a trader here, not a trade caravan. It's just a, a, a single person who's basically turned up with some with some guards here. What I'm thinking is we could trade some of our crap for some of their quite useful things. Like for example, we don't we don't want all of this garbage, right? Just sitting. It's basically just taking up room unless we want to smelt it all down. I guess we could, but that's a lot of that's a lot of wasted time given that a lot of this stuff is barely going to provide anything for us. We we'll keep the LNG just in case we recruit anyone else. But a lot of this stuff can just be straight up sold to them. There we are. Uh, oh wait, you've barely got any gold. Shit. Okay. Um, might as well get 203 silver. It's better than nothing, right? Oh, there you go. You know what? Keep the change. I'm feeling generous. I don't understand why people aren't researching. I feel like this is a bug. I've been watching them in the past day. And none of them have even stepped foot in there. Um, let's go ahead and remove that and then kind of restart it again. Sometimes there are issues with the research tree, especially closing research, redoing research during saving and reloading can have some issues. Um, Robert Daddy, what are you doing right now? I mean, to be fair, Robert Daddy has a lot on his plate with regards to the prison. I might even prevent him doing wardening. Uh, and maybe even bring Cass up to deal with that instead of Cass, another researcher. We get Bear to do it. That's okay. Let's bring Bear up to do the research then. And we'll have Robo Daddy go back to the research lab, ideally. There we are. Okay, that's fixed it. Yeah, I think it was just the kind of usual research tree bug where sometimes the research doesn't quite work. Especially if you cancel some they've already started. And obviously, we've cancelled the uh, cancelled the recon armor there. Support pods are finished. We actually have chem fuel now. Bear in mind, we, we set up kind of a chem fuel production uh, a couple of episodes ago now. So, let's get these down. Let's get some transport pods, obviously, on it in a second. Do we want that many? I feel like we'll just stick with two pod launches for the time being. Bear in mind, we're only using it to send gifts to people to try and turn them into allies. So, obviously, we can call in trade caravans and whatnot. Look at that. I mean, that's incredible, isn't it? Look at all of this stuff. Can I go select similar? Oh, there we are. <laughs> That's going to be insane. That's going to shoot our colony wealth right through the ceiling. 
We'll see how it goes. We need, uh, obviously, Psychite Refining, too, in a second, don't we? Uh, Psychite Refining. There we go. I believe Refuel is... Yeah, it's Priority 2. I'm going to set that to Priority 1, just so anybody can do that the second it becomes viable. Uh, we do have a Refinery, but no... It's telling me there's no trees again. What, what type of map did I pick here, where we, where we get absolutely grasslands? Oh, that makes a lot of sense. Right, and the only wood we've really been pulling in is from our acacia trees. Um, we, we can obviously get... Where am I? Food? Uh, besides meat, we seem to be running a little low on... I suppose we haven't really had the first harvest of our season yet. Um, you've got a shitload of corn coming in. Obviously, we've got our beets, our other corn, our peas, our can't whatever. We've got plenty of plenty of harvest coming in relatively soon. Potatoes are almost done there. Um, but it's going to be simple meals for quite a long time. What is chicken eggs? A lot of fertilized chickens just sitting around in our freezer. That's absolutely vile. What I was going to say is we'll start turning our extra crops into, into chem fuel. But obviously, we can't really do that. Um, organics. We could allow, like, meat, couldn't we? Uh, I mean, raw food. Yeah, we could just go ahead and allow meat. I think that's that's okay. That's fine. Maybe not. <laughs> we might end up turning psychoid. Uh, bear in mind how much stuff we've got. Basic insulation slabs, I think we can afford to get rid of as well. Um, bear in mind we're not using any sort of basic insulation tiers. What is, is this? Is, okay, uh, that is insulation slabs rather than hay. We could always put down another refinery, but I don't think we've actually got the resources to really to really do that. Research B team are about to finish recon armor. Again, not much point, given that we can't we can't build it for a long time. We've got steel underground. Damn it. Okay. That's quite annoying. Very nice. There we go. Okay. Drugs lab in the tomb. No one would ever expect it. You know, police come for a ram raid. You say, please don't. That's a holy place. And they have to respect that. Uh, let's go for production and electric drug lab. There we go. Let's get some steel electric dr drugs lab down. Are those affected by... Those are affected by things like um, tool cabinets, aren't they? Well, let's go ahead and cordon off a section here for a, a freezer, basically, just so that we can keep the psychoid leaves nice and crisp. Let's go ahead and get some... In fact, we can put an auto door on there, too, so they can deliver it straight from the farms into the freezer. Um, let's go ahead and put it this side. Again, you don't want the police getting uh, getting suspicious of what we're up to. <laughs> uh, right, okay, so what do we want to do about this, then? Um, just make yayo. Yeah, yeah. Just do it forever. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, and then in here, I want to keep uh, psychoid leaves, if you will, brother. Let's go ahead and copy that into uh, all of those. Did that work? Let's go critical as well. Yeah, definitely. I've removed them from the regular freezer. So that should be, it should be nice and chilly in there. Perfect for all sorts of yayo production. We got minus nine on that one, minus nine on that one. Very good. Um, we could just allow them to put raw yayo in there as well in like a stockpile zone. Um, and then we could put a trade beacon maybe at this point at the top there. That, that kind of rounds the room out quite nicely. Let's go critical. Let's go manufactured drugs. And then we want to say maybe flake and maybe yayo. Uh, psychite tea, to be honest, I wouldn't be against making some psychite tea. Because we've got some people who have like chemical withdrawals. Uh, not withdrawals, but chemical like boredom. Um, so that probably wouldn't be a terrible way of just increasing some moods occasionally when it's necessary. Let's put down a trade beacon in here as well before I forget. Do something like that. That works perfectly. That's a nice little room. Perhaps some sprinklers to help us with our <laughs> our new empire. I've got to be careful because YouTube really don't like you talking about things that you know that that we want to talk about. But we all know we all know what the hell's going on here. What was that under you think? Husbandry. There we are. Uh, a water sprinkler providing an area around plants with extra growth. We could do it on the pathway. That way, we're not actually going to lose any growing areas. Um. So we can cover quite a big zone there, can't we? 40 steel on one component per... Yikes, that's quite a lot, isn't it? What can we send to our friends, then? Um, let's take a look here. What have we got? We've got plenty of survival meals. We can send them boatloads of insect meat that we're going to use for absolutely nothing, so that's fine. Fertilized chicken eggs, they're seven... Oh, even though they're spoiled by temperature, they're still seven dollars an egg? Wow. Um... We can send some, some, like, plain leather blue fur wolf skin. That's quite valuable. There you go. You can have that one. Uh, what's we got here? We got a lot of jade. Jade's got quite a high market value. The chitin is worth quite a lot, and that's quite light as well. Okay. Um, elephant tusk. Take it. Definitely take that one. What about like the hyperweave shit? That's worth a fortune. Look at this. Uh, send some bear skin. Like they can have all this crap because we're not going to use any of it. There we go. And it, it's a much better. It'd be a much better opportunity for us to just launch it and have access to trade caravans. So I'm going to send them all that crap. Uh, and we'll see what they. We'll see what they think of that. It's a plus 24 opinion with them now, which isn't exactly what I was after, but it's definitely something. They've sent a bold goods trader, so hopefully... A little bit of plasteel? Oh, look at that. 119. Perfect. That's exactly what we needed. Um, 
They've got some advanced components, so I'm just going to buy those as well, seeing as we need advanced components and it's going to cost us plastic to do that, right? So, um, medical torture tools, prosthetic arm, predator's stomach, uh... I don't really want anything else, to be honest. The raw genetic material is a little bit tempting, but I think we're okay. Uh, maybe a few more components as well, just to save our people some time. Perfect. Hey, that's exactly what we needed. Not fantastic, not a massive amount of plasteel, but definitely a good start. We've got a shitload of extra meat, so I thought we might as well load that into a drop pond and send it over to the next... Uh, as the kind of next delivery in the hopes that we can call in manually some more bulk goods traders as soon as possible. So I decided to send them 1,500 meat. Um, if we can send that to the Pact of whatever its name is and get them as allies, fine. If we can send it off to the Empire, absolutely fine as well. Quite interesting. So the, the, the Psycho plants down here at 35%, the ones right next to the sprinklers, have gained 5% growth. These are actually quite good. Bear in mind, we're still on quite a limited time. We're definitely going to get at least one massive Psychoid harvest this entire time. So this is going to be... This is going to be pretty huge. Oh, I didn't turn that sprinkler on. Shit. What I've also noticed as well is uh, when you actually connect up a sprinkler uh, or, or, or run cables through plants, it automatically designates them for cutting. But you can actually just cancel that and they'll build it like normal without destroying the plant. So I don't know why they would... I don't know why they designated it in the first place if it makes absolutely no difference. You can sterile tile the whole lab for 768 silver and 192 steel. Definitely worth it. I'm actually going to sterile tile over the drugs lab as well. If we do something like that just for the, for the cleanliness bonus. And actually, I think I'll probably do the kitchen. Um, kitchen's a bit large. But it works fine. Bear in mind, we are... I, I have queued up manufacturing as a job to do. So we are going to get some big fuck-off stoves very very soon uh obviously those ones need a lot of room so actually having this much room and, and having the whole thing tiled over in advance probably wouldn't be a terrible plan oh look at this plasteel 246 oh god we haven't got enough now i've put down the fucking lab uh we could probably sell some things right some gold oh they've got some really good stuff wow neuro calculates barnet legs that would have been perfect for sharamus cataphract armor circadian influence compact weaponry damn <laughs> now I've spent all my bloody plasteel. Uh, sorry, all my all my silver on that other plasteel and that other trade caravan. We haven't got anything left for this one. Uh, trade it for gold? No, we need gold for advanced components. Uh, okay, okay. Just don't buy so much. Um, how much can we afford? 120-ish? Uh, no, slightly less. Brain was going slightly the wrong way there. I was thinking, oh, it's going to be around 118 because it's 11 per. But I was going the other way like it was costing rather than selling anyway um no oh, wait hang on uh try try that one genius 180 okay so 108 is not bad it's not really again what we need to be if we plan on building a freaking spaceship but it is a good start oh that'll do uh i mean it, it, it it's kind of good what did they even land the yoltath mechide oh no <laughs> i was gonna say that's kind of good because we actually need the uh you know we actually need the plasteel what's not good is when they landed my garden Pork, 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 pork. No running and gunning, brother. Run. Friendly fire. Don't care. Don't care about friendly fire. Stop these mechanoids, damn it. Fire. Kill. Destroy. The one time I actually want run and gun. Now would be... Now would be it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. I would rather just open fire, kill these mechanoids, and try and patch them up than leave this to... Leave this to chance. Get him, boys. That's what we like to see. Okay, come on. With that plasma caster, we're going to drop in no time, surely. There we go. There we go. There we go. Good shit. Good shit. Good shit. Come on. Take him down. Good shit. Okay, someone just got absolutely hit by a... Just got destroyed by a Lancer there. Come forward. Let's line up. Just come forward. Just just give him health. It's all we can really do. I can't believe they spawned him right there. That's crazy. Okay. Move down. That's it. Spread out. Move down. I like, I like the stick into cover. That's very clever. Very good. Okay, now they've got a range advantage because we're looking at lancers and uh, lancers and pikemen. So we want to push a bit closer. Try and use that advantage against them a little bit. There we go, there we go, there we go. Nice. Well done. Okay, well handled. Pork is bleeding out in two hours. Bear is bleeding out in two hours. This is, this is danger. Um, this is now medical and this is now also medical. Thank you for your sacrifice. Doctors, we're looking at Robo Daddy and Five. Robo Daddy, rescue bear. Five... Oh, Lord Windsor's also down. Fuck. Uh, Rescue Pork. Where's Lord Windsor? Bleeding out five hours. Who's our other doctor? Cass. Cass, 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 Cass. Rescue Lord Windsor. Not a problem. We should be fine. We've got plenty of time there. Get him rescued. Get him tended. Good shit. That's what I like to see. Who's on pork? Who's who's on pork? What a weird phrase. Five. Five's bringing better medicine. Bear is up. 
Bear has lost a foot. Shit. Okay. That's a problem. I was wondering why Bear was up so fast. That's a real shame. But, you know, no, no life-threatening injuries there. That's what we like to see. Charge Lance dealt with. Uh, why did you bring over... <laughs> bought over enough medicines to attend one thing and then went back for more. That was a bit of a silly idea. Uh, how's Windsor doing? Bringing out three hours. We've, we've put him in there. That was, that was ridiculous, but... Okay, fine, I guess. Uh, oh, I should have just left it, you fool. Rubber Daddy, rescue. Plus 40 with the Pact of Futanara if we launch over there, or pa plus 32 with the Exodus Imperium. Exodus Imperium? Meet my meat. Let's see what they think about that. Uh, we want to go to factions here. We've already got good opinions with the... Yeah, we got, we're got up to 73 there with them now. It's only neutral, because they are the Empire after all. I don't quite know how we've done it. And I mean, don't get me wrong, this is only a good thing here. But we've somehow ended up from at the start of the episode where people didn't have enough to do. And people were obviously just wandering around idle. To now not having enough people to even load a transport pod. Bear in mind, load now, I think I put to like top priority for most people. If not second priority for people like the researchers, the builders. I don't know quite how we've done it, but it's a good sign because it means if we recruit these guys, they'll have plenty of jobs available. I think it's obviously because this big old harvest is coming, right? I've been a lot more uh, a lot more open about what we hunt. I've been a lot more flexible about what they can mine. So other kind of steel designations have come down. I've gone for things like the Jade as well there. So everybody has plenty to do now. The staggered schedule is working pretty well because we've got constantly things going all around the clock here. As new animals come in, people are hunting it, which means overnight more animals can spawn in, things like that. Things are going pretty goddamn well. More importantly, it's pretty close to our first psychoid harvest too. 12 days later, and we, we've almost got our first harvest in. So in theory, it's going to be quite close. But bear in mind, we didn't have the sprinklers or anything immediately set up. And these crops in particular took a while to plant because we were waiting on the area to be sown. But I believe we will be able to get two harvests of psychoid, at least in this area, especially the ones by the sprinklers, by the time that the uh, by the time the inferno comes around. However, when it goes from summer to fall, so probably next episode, we will have to start turning this into uh, something capable of withstanding the Inferno. We've got plenty of insulation, uh, polymer insulation slabs there that we can rebuild this out of. Um, we've also got plenty of components, and obviously still plenty of steel. 3,146, despite all the crap that we built today, to build some heaters. Build some gas heaters, or, or sorry, coolers, I should say. Build some gas coolers, air conditioning, whatever it is we want to build. So, things are going... Pretty well, I think. Might not be a bad idea to open back up the stone cutting benches, uh, or, or rebuild the stone cutting benches, I should say, and let our people start producing more limestone bricks. We've got a lot of slate, but we are going to have to rebuild the walls entirely. We, we could, I guess, put down an outer layer of the heavy insulated stuff. Um, what do you think would be better, doing the outside walls with the heavy insulation, or doing the internal walls with the heavy insulation? I think the outside, and then slowly. Because that is kind of our first line of defense, isn't it? And if we've got this best one with the highest heat transfer on the external one and then and then coolers in between, we can really take the edge off. So I think we're trying to upgrade the out outside first. And the reason I'm asking for that one is so that we can... Uh, I, th I think we've probably got enough limestone bricks to just about do it. Let's give it a go. Uh, limestone insulated walls. What are we looking at? 198 and 330. Okay, so we're slightly low on limestone bricks. But we are... We're not actually that low on polymers when you think about it. We've got plenty of chem fuel. If I go ahead and turn that up to like 350... Those can be converted over pretty damn fast. I'll actually get Robo Daddy on that because that's that's super high priority. Um, that's quite literally a difference between life and death. So we're getting to work on that pretty fast. 295. There we go. That barely took him five minutes, huh? Right. So let's go ahead and just plan that out then. Now, bear in mind, last time I, did, I actually didn't really take into account. I think we just built it out of kind of urgency that the external wall was uh, insulated wall. Uh, so it was, was made out of steel. I didn't actually realize that. So... Hopefully, this time, it'll not only be more effective because we've got limestone rather than steel, which, during some of the testing that we've done over the many, many times that we've done it, uh, did prove to be a bit more of, uh, of an effective building block. But, of course, we've got the, the polymer, too, which is quite nice. It's the second highest one. The one high on that is out of, what, like, Hyperweave, which, with this mod pack, we're never going to be able to pull off. We've got no none of the usual kind of infinite resource mods or anything like that this time around. Let's go production. Let's go electric stone cutters table out of steel. There we are. That's quite expensive. 60 components and 210 steel. That's not cheap at all. But... It'll help out. It means that we don't need to use up so much of this area for, for I mean, stone cutters benches. Three is, is quite ridiculous when we can just get an upgrade and obviously limit the whole thing down there. And that means we can put something else here too. Don't quite know what else we've got to put down though. Um, which retailer bench we're already good for. Machine table, fuel smithy. Yeah, we're good with that as well. Another fabrication bench would be fantastic. Oh, an assembly bench would be great. Yeah, rather than a fabrication bench, just go for an assembly bench instead, which obviously makes components and only components, but it's much, much smaller. I don't know if it connects up to these, though. No, it doesn't connect up to the fabrication cabinets. Um, mainly because Squanker Squiggle is kind of staying on top of it. But that's with Squanker Squiggle 
only ever making components. Like, for the rest of their life, only ever making components. So, I don't know. Do I want to waste my last two advanced components on that, though? For the time being, we don't need it. But that is an option. Let's, let's forget it for the time being, folks, on these tables. Because that's... Oh, shit. That's way more important. Let's just go limestone blocks. And then I might put down another deep drill over here. I know I removed the last one. That's only because we couldn't actually turn it off. Um, I guess we could look, kind of build a wall around it. And then forbid the door? I guess that wouldn't... I mean, I guess that would work. I don't see why not. Hey, Kelly. Uh, wait, that was a wanderer. Holy shit. I thought that was a uh, prisoner. I was going to say I accidentally left this prisoner with power armor, but no, it's a... Wow. Too smart, beautiful, straight, 12, social. We've got ourselves a new warden. That's incredible. <laughs> Randomly out of nowhere. That's actually really, really good. Well, there we go. Wow. Um, not bad at medical as well. I'll, I'll take you off of medical for the timing. So I don't think that's hyper necessary, is it? Um... Shit. I mean, that's insane. You can't do a lot at all besides Warden, but it does mean that, uh... does mean I can give our other Wardens a break. Obviously, means I could probably take Robo Daddy completely off of Wardening now. Uh, wow, you're really bad. <laughs> you're good, but you're really bad. Hunting and Wardening, I guess, is your job, and that's... That is it. Holy shit. Scanning as a fallback, like a really, really desperate fallback. Turning up with your own power armor, though, that I can appreciate. <laughs> Tile is gigolo. <laughs> So, I've had this name on my list for a long time, and that was for somebody who... What's your shooting skill, by the way? 0 0.74. Welcome to the bottom of the list. Somebody asked uh, for specifically a name if we recruit someone during the tornadoes, during the sandstorm, but of course, the last sandstorm is the one coming up next. To be fair, we did recruit this person or randomly get this person during a storm, because we've had a storm for the past uh, year or so now. Actually, how long has that been going on for? 1.4 years. Fucking hell, really? We need to get off this planet. Like, we actually have a, a good in-law reason now for getting off of this planet. Even though they're surviving here, they are just going to die of old age if they hang around. So let's, let's, let's put our foot down and get out. So they've actually finished a... Oh, Grand Sculpture. Excellent. That's what we like to see. Do you want to keep that or do you want to send that off as a gift? Have they loaded that bloody corn yet? No. <laughs> Brilliant. Um, I might get you to surrender your gun and just give you a weapon instead. Do you think? Let's give you the LMG. You're a terrible shot, so I'd rather you just lay down fire than uh, and hope to hit something rather than go for these weapons. That Obviously, that one has a much closer range. That one requires a bit more accuracy, neither of which you kind of have, I'm afraid. Who do we want to send the sculpture to? We could send it to the, the, the Pact and actually secure an alliance with those guys. I think that'll be enough to get an alliance with them anyway. We'll find out in a second. Uh, 54. That's still not quite enough. To be fair, we could just send him a boatload of corn. Uh, Roger Wilco, can I get you to... Maybe we ran out of corn. No, we've definitely got enough corn. Um, it's just taking them a while to load it, I guess. Hey, there we are. Good. Okay, so I sent them a drop pod of just, again, spare stuff. Spare flak jackets. Uh, insulation slabs, like the lowest tier ones. We had a load of those lying around, which we could have recycled into, like, hay. But obviously, we don't really need that. So I've decided to send it off to those guys. We've got ourselves an ally now. So let's get Robo Daddy to immediately call them in for some plastil. Um, he's very sad. For reasons I don't quite know. His mood's good. He's just sad. <laughs> I suppose we could just get anybody to call them in, right? Uh, ally. A request a trade caravan. And let's go for bulk goods trader. Thank you. Now, we've got to try and get enough steel or, or whatever. Things to basically trade with them. It's bulk goods, so we can trade basically anything at that point, right? Um, we've got two tr trade beacons in there. Let's put some in the freezer. Because we've got, like, a, a ridiculous amount of value in the freezer that we're just doing really nothing with. We don't want to sell our lavish meals, though. That's a lot of meals. Wow. 71 and... Wow, we've actually finished off fine meals for the first time in, in forever. Look at these guys. What are you selling? I like Town Guard. What are you, what are you selling, though? Uh, I like Combat Supplier. Robot Daddy is not doing well. Let's get um, Windy to go and take a look here. Windy Williams, because they've got, obviously, good social, so that might be a nice little bonus there. Uh, yeah, 18% is pretty good. Right, I'm looking for... We've got mono swords. Oh, wow. Prestige marine armor. That's quite nice. Let's sell them all of our spare crap for a start. Just to try and get some money into the base before we before we potentially buy anything. Um, let's do something like that. Do you guys want anything else? Components? I really want the shells. 216. Not massive, but it'll do. It, it's an okay little trade. Oh, sweet Jesus. <laughs> uh, boom rats don't actually produce milk, though, do they? They don't actually... You, you can't actually get boom... Boom, boom jelly. What are they called? Uh, boom, boom jelly. Chem fuel. There we are. Chem fuel. You can't get chem fuel from these guys, so I might just sell them off. That would be a good thing to load into drop pods to send to the Empire. Wait. <laughs> In hindsight, maybe loading a bunch of explosive rodents into a drop pod is a bad idea. We don't want them. Let's put it that way. Uh, take the lot. Here. Uh, have them. 
I mean, I really don't care. They're worth quite a lot. Um, I want to keep Shakespeare our, our our friend, though. There we are. So what do you think? That's probably like a thousand. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah, that's about a thousand silver right there. I have hail going on right now, so I've restricted a lot of the people to indoors. Um, just because, I mean, especially with the boom rats, they are a liability right now because they can't go outside without being Peter. My good man, P Peter. Oh, for God's sake. Yeah, we can't let anything go outside because they're just getting absolutely peppered. Um, we'll put down some sleeping spots, animal sleeping spots in the butcher's room. Let's hope there's not a, a very hilarious and tragic misunderstanding there. Boom, there we go. Well, hopefully not literally. Uh, allied with now the Exodus Imperium as well because we have sent them some explosive mice <laughs> via the medium of drop pod, which I'm sure goes similarly well. Great work. Okay, fantastic. So we've got two really, really good allies out of that. Um... We've got a big harvest coming in soon. How are we looking on the psycho? 75% over there, 91% over here. Fantastic. Manufacturing. Oh, that's a big one. Wow. What have we got coming up next? Nothing. Okay, shit. Uh. Nuclear power? It seems a bit unnecessary at this point, huh? Especially because I assume we need plastic to build it. Fuck it. Let's go for it. I mean, that's the ultimate power. We don't need anything else beyond that, right? Um. Okay, so manufacturing gives us access to all sorts of crazy stuff, like, for example, we can build much larger stoves now. They're huge. They save us so much time and effort when it comes to actual cooking that I think we should get these down straight away here. Um, if we put one there and then we maybe remove this stove here. I want to keep one of the stoves going just so that we can reinstall. I decided rather than putting down... Um, oh, it's an exhausted goods trader. Very nice. Rather than putting down more silver tiles in here and wasting the last of our silver on that. Um, especially because we've only got 10 left because they've already bloody placed it. I decided let's just go for regular steel tiles. We don't need to worry about dirt that much when we've got common sense. We've also got these bins from the vanilla expanded mod that automatically tidy things up. I figured any more sterile tiles beyond that is obviously a bit, a bit overkill, isn't it? So put the sink there. Hopefully that can connect up to them. It can. Okay, fantastic. We've also got potential for cabinets so we could do something like that i guess i don't know if that'll be a bit too cramped now though excellent look at that there we go so we're missing like two two blocks there i think what are we looking at um missing insulated slabs on that one and i assume it's insulated slabs on this one too yeah it is okay fair enough um oh more is on it right now incredible work okay that's it we're, we're basically done then i would love to get the whole thing the insulated slabs obviously uh that would really help with the with the heat transfer it means that we obviously need not necessarily less heaters, but our heaters will go a lot further. So that we might not need to... Sorry, coolers. It might, means that we might not need to turn on the coolers right until quite late in the in the season because of the heat transfer. Just got a double recruit. That was insane. We've got Russo and Kobe, as they were known. But, of course, new colony, new names. We've got Valo and Ginta Blade there joining us again. One coming in with a power armor helmet, which I'm always a big fan of. Oh, God, this is too many people. Help me. Okay. Um... <laughs> Ah, this is this is getting a bit much. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Right, right. Let's go bed rest. Let's go. I mean, nurse is always is fine for a higher priority, to be honest. It's actually not bad looking at it now. I mean, Ginter Blade is really good at uh at mining or decently good at mining, and uh, Valo has some skill with drugs, which is uh, which we're gonna have a big call for soon, especially because a lot of our drugs characters are, are researchers, and obviously we've got a lot of research to do. So that's fantastic. I'm all right with that. Are there any other factions we could try and make? alliances with the blue forest settlement wouldn't be too difficult everything else like the savage tribe is obviously impossible pirate band is impossible insects are impossible gentle tribe doable but a bit pointless uh especially when we're after plasteel bandits impossible settlers could work but we've got a lot of work to do there um sten is a rough outlander union we've got civil outlander union the rough empire and the civil settlers i think they're good enough so the blue forest settlement i'm gonna launch you guys a very kind piece of art uh artwork where are we looking let's want to keep it to sell Let's keep it a cell. We did also get a salvage laser shotgun in a drop pod. Now, the, the, the laser weaponry in, uh, have weird side effects, especially the salvaged ones. Uh, and it's also a laser shotgun, so it has quite a small range. We're probably not going to use it, but it's worth 2,000 to sell. So we're just going to keep it in the uh, keep it in the stockpile there for a little while. Should I reinstall these into here? So that way we can actually trade with trade chips and potentially sell them the weapons out of the stockpile. That would make a lot more sense. Let's go ahead and leave that one here for today. It's been quite a long time uh, of, of recording for me, to be honest with you. It's taken like two hours to, to do this one today or slightly over that one. I've edited it down. Obviously, it'll probably be about 30 minutes, so 
Thank you all for watching. Thank you for bearing with us on this one. Again, these, these kind of in-between seasons are a little slow, especially without the kind of resource mods. I think for the next pack, I think when we go back to vanilla, I will tr include one of the more balanced resource mods. I especially like the one where we, we were able to grow resources. Because I forget which one it was called now, but the one where you grow it and then you um, are able to process the resources at the refinery. That one was really good. I, I thought that one was fairly balanced. So I think we'll... Um, I think we'll probably go back to that one at some stage. Anyway, thank you all for watching. And a thank you to our executive producers of the day. Again, I still don't know exactly what I'm going to do with this end screen. So um, it, it's a bit of a mess right now. Thank you in the meantime to Crane, the Fixer, Oregon, Justin Wallace, Slippy Nips, Schoolwork, Rage Dragon, Zetlock, Silkworm, Alchemia, Alex, Scary Scurvy, Steve, Slickback, Goatfather, and Kekvit Ure for their support at the executive producer tiers on Patreon and for the executive producer tiers on coffee, we have Amethy Amethyst C, Goatfather, Kane GB. I'm getting weird deja vu here. Silkworm, Neo, Zela, Sweet C, Shotgun Diplomacy, Alex, Demon X Jester, DKO, Mr. Moma, CJ, Siala, Alchemia, Jobo Daddy, and Dumgit for their support at the executive tiers on coffee as well. Big thanks to you guys. And a thank you as well to Rotten Flesh, Fernando, Mohammed, Alvin. Tabula Rasa, Warhawk, Ari is, is Kakbeev, <laughs> what, yeah, Cyber Monkey, Astros Fan, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, The Thick Mick, Ultra Spider, 2000, Sio, Snyo, Lauga, I think, Sweetsy, Neil, Kato, Blue Chaos, Zaka, for their support over on the tiers at Coffee, I've lost, this is, this is a complete mess, isn't it? This is, this is impossible. <laughs> what a what a mess. And a thank you as well to... We're almost there. Bear with me. Llewellyn Thomas, Pantherpearl, Taborda, Aramis, Prometheo, Voodoo Mumbo, Archbishop, Danny, Mythomatic, Couchsitter, Grey, Luciola, Betamus Max, Tempe, and Fenrir. I've got to find a better way of doing this. There's got to be a better way to handle four different documents of 117 names each. Thank you. See you all tomorrow. <laughs>